Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and there's no telling when or where Cupid's arrow will strike. Ooh. Ooh. Well, here to kick off our love week with relationship advice is talk show host, relationship expert, co-author of five New York Times bestsellers, plus editor-at-large of a new magazine called The Good Life, Lisa Oz. Welcome to the show. Thank you so Lisa much for having Oz, me. how many jobs do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Busy woman, where do you find time to love? Oh, wow, you have to make time to love, right? It's the mm. most important thing we do in our lives, I think, so you gotta prioritize. But your husband, Dr. Oz, is equally as busy, so how do you keep oh, the spice in your relationship? How do you make it work? <laughs> He's way more busy than I am. <laughs> no, I don't know. Way more. I don't know. But again, it's about prioritizing, so we don't do other stuff, you know, we don't watch a lot of TV. Okay. Um, we don't do things that normal people probably would spend their times doing because we just don't have the time, but we do make time to spend to spend some romantic quality. Now stuff you say you don't them. watch a lot of TV, so no. does that mean you want more interactive type of time relationship type things you do? Well activities? we do have our the shows that we watch together. Like his oh. show. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he lives. Your daughter showed the no. chew, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay, there you go. But no, when we when we're together, we want to spend time together. We want to talk about things. We want to look in each other's eyes. You know, mm. multitasking is off the table when we're together because it just, it's a lack of quality. It's so wow. true. Yeah. I hate when my husband's texting and talking to me and he's pretending like he can hear me, but I know he can't. <laughs> and then when I quiz him, he fails the quiz. Can you do the last three words of what you said? Yes. Right, they all can. It's a trick. Yeah, it's a man I, trick. I can. Right? I was going to say, I'm listening. Yeah, you just exactly. said, blah, blah, You just said, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, vacation, summer. Yeah, right. Yeah. You, you didn't hear anything exactly. I said. So that's not good enough? No. no. Oh, okay, well, help us out. For those people that are stuck in that relationship rut, what can we do? Well, a couple things. First, if you want a good relationship, focus on the things you love. Because if you've been with someone for a long time, you know the things that drive you crazy will sort of build up. Like, I have one friend who can't stand the way her husband chews, and that's <laughs> all she notices. So look for the good stuff. So I'll do a really quick game with you guys right now. Okay. Just look around the room, and in your brain, think of five things that are blue. Blue. Yeah, look around the room, okay. list the five okay. blue things, okay? Okay. Now, close your eyes, okay. and give me three things that were yellow. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay, the pillow over there, <laughs> yeah, but the wall. But you're remembering it. You weren't looking at it. You didn't yeah. see it. Yeah. Because yeah. you see what you're looking for. Yeah, I look for blue. That's so when, in a relationship, when you're looking for the stuff you love, when you're looking for the stuff you appreciate, that you're grateful for, that's what you'll see more than the stuff that drives you crazy. Wow, okay. you're good. I love that. <laughs> Write that down. Look for blue. <laughs> so when my husband is being shady, I'm just going to say, honey, I'm looking for blue right yep. now. Right, right, I'll be right, right back. Focus on the good stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the good stuff. Your new magazine, The Good Life. Mm -hmm. When can we expect it on newsstands? Right now. Really? Yes. Ooh. Okay, so what can uh, readers expect? Well, it is about wellness. It is the good life. Because some people think mm -hmm. when you say the good life, they think fancy cars and mm -hmm. yachts and planes, but that's not our definition yeah. of the good life. It's not material it's, things. No, it's living fully. It's having great health and happiness and good relationships and delicious food. Because, yeah. you know, my husband is the health guru, but mm -hmm. the food is, has to be delicious or we're not putting it in the magazine. Mm. Um, we have great exercises. We have stuff for your home. We have beauty because how you feel about yourself shows on the outside so you want to look good to feel good so it's it's all about wellness broadly defined mm. a 360 look at wellness exactly yes. mm. which is now, why we love you 360 <laughs> yeah. right there. now what about relationship advice in there as well because that's all about being healthy and making sure you have a healthy heart because a relationship could affect your health right it's every issue will have mm. relationships we have one now mm -hmm. about how your cell phone might be impacting your sex life what really? yep. wait yep. can you tell us more no, about this one. Come on. Read it to find oh. out. Come on. Um, what, kind of, what kind of teaser is that? <laughs> We have a His Heart, Her Heart uh, mm. uh, article in there. So every every issue will have, a, a big part of it will be on devoted to relationships. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> You've been married to Dr. Oz for more than two decades now? Oh, almost three. It'll be 29 years this wow, summer. Oh, congratulations. I know. Congratulations. We're getting so old. Oh, oh no, you're not. You still look young. Don't Honey, worry. You look good. You look really good. We are both married. Yes. Not to each other. No. no. Not to other people. <laughs> but what's the secret to the success and longevity of your marriage. Part of it, I think, is reinventing yourself so you don't get bored. Mm. And if you do the same thing every day, eat the same food, you know, mm. sit in the same spot, go to the same places, you're going to get a little bored. So 
spice, add some spice. Go somewhere mm. new. To have some adventure. It actually, it may be a little bit of danger because it actually increases the hormones that attach you to people. So, really? so look for new things to do. Eat different at a different restaurant. Just don't always go to the same places. It's the routine that sometimes can damage mm. a relationship. Yeah, yeah. variety great. is the spice of life. But, yeah, but you don't, it doesn't have to be another person. Right. It can be yeah. doing a new <laughs> thing with the same person. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that helps usually. That's true. So since you have been married for 29 years, what's Dr. Like Oz like at home? And like, what's it like being married to the Dr. Oz? Well, he's not looking over my plate saying, are you really going to eat this? <laughs> right, right, right. Try, <laughs> which is what people are usually curious about. But you know, he is, the funny thing about him is that he is who you see on TV. Mm. He's very genuine in, in, on, on camera because that is the guy that he is. He's funny, he's playful, he's a little goofy sometimes, but he's really smart. Mm -hmm. And that's what he is at home too. Really? Mm -hmm. Gosh, you're lucky. I know. <laughs> Do you ever get sick? Like, if you're married to Dr. Oz, are you the healthiest person on the planet next to Dr. Well, Oz? I'm of course? taking care of him usually. Really? <laughs> yeah, he was okay. actually sick this weekend, so I was nursing him back to health. But wow. uh, no, I, we strong immune system. Strong immune yeah. system. Yeah. Now, how okay. do you take his advice, and how does he take your advice? Because you're both experts in your own right. So when you are giving each other advice, you're like, okay, yeah, 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 it's like a broken record, or do you accept the advice? Well, if it's something new that either of us haven't heard before, we're mm -hmm. always open to new information because our, part of our mission in life is to help people and make them better so if either one of us finds something new we're gonna be receptive to that okay. so. why do you think his show has been such a phenomenal success what is it about him that resonates with mm. viewers well, I think a couple things but one he's a really good communicator he mm. can take esoteric information and make it really accessible which is great and the second thing is that he really cares about people mm. and that that is what he wants to do he wants to make your life better he wants to give you the tools you need to do what you need to do to improve. So he, he is passionate about helping people. Mm. Well, speaking of passion, can we talk about Valentine's Day? Oh, yes, yes. of course. Okay, so Shannon clearly needs some tips. <laughs> Please, uh -huh. help. The wife is expecting something big on yes. Friday. Something big. But it doesn't have to be a big gift, per se. It can be a big experience or maybe something that is really just wildly thoughtful. Do you have any suggestions that can make our Shannon look like a rock star to uh, his wife? Well, I'll tell you what my husband does. He writes me a poem every year, oh. which is really nice. I'm write that down. And I love oh. it. That's, so nice. that's, that's a lot of pressure every year. Yeah, um, he has to oh top gosh. the one before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> stuff just kind of gets forgotten, mm. and you throw it in a drawer, if it's a, or you eat the candy, which I really definitely don't <laughs> need. <laughs> the flowers die, but a poem you can save forever. So that's mm. what I would recommend. Write her a beautiful poem. Oh, okay. Right. That's beautiful. Yeah. I like that. And do you know what else right. works? Uh, he, he writes me a poem, I give him a massage. So mm. you, you could give her a massage, or could maybe sh you could ask her for one. <laughs> okay, that, I like that Ooh. massage. Right. That down. Down. Ooh, some reciprocity <laughs> yeah. there. Okay, so what, what about the single people? We have a lot of friends that aren't in relationships. Right. What should they be doing on Valentine's Day? Well, Self-love? to appreciate themselves. <laughs> you know, because I think so many people, and big problem in our relationships with other people is that we're not loving ourselves enough mm. to share the best part of ourselves with other people. Hmm. So do something that shows you that you love yourself. Um, it can be buy yourself a gift. Go get yourself a massage. Mm. Um, oh, that's true. You know, do go out for dinner. Buy yourself and order your favorite favorite entree. Whatever it is, give yourself a little appreciation on Valentine's Day. Well, experts always say you have to love yourself first you do. before you can love anyone else. You can't right? love anyone else if you've got right. nothing left to share. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Okay. What piece? Uh, what one piece of relationship advice do you think that we can take away? today? Like what's the one thing that we should be doing in our relationships to mm. maintain them and make sure that they're healthy and flourishing? Um, take a little bit of time to self-talk. It, mm -hmm. it goes back to the self-love thing, but if you are not honest with yourself about where you're coming from in a relationship and you pretend you're mad about, you know, whatever, not taking the garbage out, mm -hmm. when it's really about feeling vulnerable and underappreciated, Get honest with yourself so you can be honest with your partner. But how do you have those difficult conversations? Because a lot of people are afraid. They don't want to get in a fight. They don't want to, you know, bring up this old stuff. So how do you sensitively approach those topics? Well, she's saying have the conversation with, with yourself, yourself first. But then you have to have it with them. Right. Yes. Because after you realize what it is, you, you can't just hold it in. No. So then how do you take it and share it? Um, you have to get, check your ego at the door. It's not about being right. Mm -hmm. It's about being in relationship. So when you can approach someone without getting mad, without getting defensive, you can come and say, I'm feeling vulnerable about this. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Can we talk about it? When you're not on the attack, it's hard for them to stay on the attack. 
Got you. Ooh, good. I like that. That's just really good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Check ego <laughs> at door. <laughs> Don't be not. on attack. Don't forget, okay. Look for blue. Look, look for blue. blue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've been fantastic. Oh, thank you. I, feel, I, feel, I feel ready to love even more. Yeah. Don't you, well, I'm ready for Valentine's <laughs> okay. Day. I think it's going to be a success. All right. And good luck with the magazine. Thank I you. can't wait to buy it on newsstand. Thank good luck. So I got to read about that cell phone. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.